What are we thinking? So, thankfully, no, because okay, um, uh, pretty much it'll be kind of going out more. It's you know how it makes a little curve, kind of like yeah. a curve, curveball a little bit. Yeah, it'll be going back out into the Atlantic. Okay. So, okay. So, thankfully, we'll uh, yeah, we won't see any remnants of it. But we'll continue to track it out as we go throughout at least uh, today and uh, tomorrow. Currently, uh, just got updated. Actually, is uh, no longer uh, a, a Category Three hurricane. We're starting to see updates of course uh, as it gets more inland. It is currently a Category two hurricane. Of course, it is starting to weaken as it uh, at least goes more inland. Those max sustained winds right around 110 miles per hour. This is still a dangerous uh, hurricane right now, though, even though we're still seeing it weaken a little bit. Some of these wind gusts that are coming in in Deco Beach, 93 mile per hour wind gusts. Just out in Horseshoe Beach, we did get a reading of 108 for wind gusts and even 83 in Aridu. So, yeah, this is a dangerous storm with uh, pretty much damaging winds and that storm surge is a big problem with this as well. Of course, right back here at home, <clears throat> the temperatures are running around 61 degrees. It's a little bit uh, cooler outside. It's going to be overall a cool day, kind of like a fall day out there as you go throughout your Wednesday. Temperatures right now, uh, lower 50s, uh, lower 60s, upper 50s, 59 degrees in Wauseon, 57 in Ottawa, out in Tiffin, right around 59 degrees. Take a look at that hour by hour forecast as we bring it throughout the next couple of days. Eventually by this afternoon, to the evening hours. Well, let's see how high it's just in around 70 degrees. Eventually by 7 p.m. tonight, we'll be into the upper 60s. And then it turns real cool to start out Thursday. We'll likely see temperatures in the upper 40s, even close to 50 degrees as you start your Thursday. So you may need that light jacket if you're heading out tomorrow morning. Eventually by Thursday afternoon, we'll be a little warmer, mid 70s. But of course, to look at that full moon tonight, it'll be a full moon, super moon. Uh, and it'll be the second full moon, of course, this this month. It'll rise right around 824 and eventually it'll set right around 604 tomorrow. Look at that Labor Day weekend forecast for you. As we go throughout your Saturday, gonna be a hot one, but it gets even hotter as we go throughout Sunday into Monday. We're talking the lower 90s and eventually as look at those high temperatures over the next 10 days. We got multiple days where we could likely see 90 degrees or above as we head throughout next week, Tuesday, even into Wednesday. Typically that average high this time of year, 82 degrees. So yeah, we are well below above average. Look at that extended forecast. Still got those cool conditions for Wednesday into Thursday. Eventually as we head throughout Saturday, Sunday, even Monday and Tuesday. Oh yeah, we got some hot days ahead. And once you fall back into the upper 80s by next Thursday and Friday, we'll be back into the mid 80s.